David, some of the heaviest traffic today may have been at the salt pile in Chelsea, where crews loaded up with supplies for the storm. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Plymouth tonight, where, Bill, they're going to be watching the snow and the impact of the storm on the coastline. Oh, yeah, any, Lisa, any east-facing coastline tomorrow is going to get really hammered by an astronomical high tide at 1 o'clock. And we've been in the DPW yard here in Plymouth for much of the afternoon. It's been busy all day with all the trucks getting ready. They sent the crews home at 3 o'clock with orders to come back at 9. All it takes is for a meteorologist to say nor'easter and all bets are off at your local hardware store. At Curry Hardware, snow shovels were being sold as soon as they were put out. I'm having a hard time making a decision because of all the options. Going with this one. Salt and ice melt? Ditto. But this storm may call for two shovels. We got four people. We have two shovels right now. And, um, you know, trying to get everybody to uh, be out there shoveling. With anywhere from six inches to 14 of snow being predicted, salt barns were stocking up and plows getting ready. COVID adds another layer. Oh, it's really a, a two-front storm for us, everybody. You know, we have to prepare for, to make sure our equipment is clean and safe for all of our employees. And DPW employees have done a great job sanitizing all the equipment. So that was done today and last night in preparation for the storm uh, tonight and tomorrow. And state officials acknowledge complications from the pandemic. COVID-19 has impacted crew availability for the state and for some cities and towns. At Morrison's Power Equipment in Plymouth, the line was out the door. People were buying snowblowers, not shovels. I just need to uh, just step it up because the one I had, I have in my shop, it broke down. Well, I went to start it, it didn't work. And your repairman? Busy, busy, busy. Per usual. Funny how people wait until two days before a big storm to have the old snowblower fixed. A little backed up on service, as you can imagine, because a lot of people kind of wait till they hear a storm, then go try it and realize it's got a problem. So it sounds like this is a storm to be taken very seriously. In fact, I bought an extra shovel today, but I was glad to hear Eric say that in most places, this is going to be a light, fluffy snow that we can shovel and won't stick to power lines and bring tree limbs down so much. Reporting live from Plymouth, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Does